guys, it's me, Clarissica, here on Clarissica Says, where Clarissica says it all, and that is how I feel. So, we are back with another video in my car, and this is another like quick let's chat vlog. I want to talk to you guys about Takashi 69, y'all. Now, everybody's calling Takashi 69 a snitch. Do y'all really believe that Takashi 69 is a snitch? Do you feel as though maybe his snitching? actually has some form of merit i mean because you got a whole bunch of people involved with this you got shoddy you got nook you got ceo chris you got so many different people involved in this little circle nine trade blood trade way little entourage click gang situation going on and there's a lot of events that happens behind the scenes with these type of groups you know what i'm saying so even though you are technically quote unquote clicked up, there's a lot of things that they're doing to each other that to be honest, ultimately is grimy. And I do feel like um, there's a lot of situations that have happened to Takashi 69 while he's been affiliated with the nine Trey way or the nine Trey bloods um, that has happened to him, which has now caused him to put himself in predicament to snitch. Now, I feel like from the very beginning, Takashi 69 is not a dumb one. Takashi is not dumb at all. So I feel like he caught wind that the feds were on him. And because he caught wind and because the feds spoke with him ahead of time, which he does admit ahead of time, he said, you know what? Let me play my cards right. Let me try to get on Breakfast Club and try to tell my side of the story. Because I know once this stuff wants to share his offense, I will not be able to talk like freely like I want to. So let me go on the breakfast club. Let me play my role and actually try to say what I need to say on this platform, which I know is a mass platform, which gets around, which people will actually listen and hear. So that's my my take on that. Um, but I do know for a fact that Takashi has basically been in jail for a year, y'all. And I told y'all on one of my previous videos that he probably won't be in the jail, won't be in jail for longer than a year to three years at the most because he's working with the feds. Now he's working actually, actually y'all, for those of you that don't know, he is right now in court as a witness for Shadi and other members of the nine Treyway um, crew. But it has been said that he has been technically sentenced to 47 years. But with working with the feds, he can get this something called a K. I found the article so you guys can see it. But it's basically like a K something that basically gives him time served. Basically, because you're working with the government, so you get time served. And um, basically, for the rest of your life, you are also protected. Um, because you are, you know, really going against people that are gang members and, you know, gang members sometimes have the plugs and have, you know, strings to be pulled. And if he is trying to continue, which he is trying to continue uh, as being a rapper persona, he's going to need to be watched and protected for most of his life because now he's making a name and putting, you know, the gang blood, which blood and Crips has been around since what, the 90s, 70s, 80s, y'all. This ain't nothing really new. But now you put a group like that on blast. Now it's like the magnifying glass has not been part out because of you. And you can create enemies like that, you know? Not only that, he decided to go be hype and stuff and try to be legit for you guys that, um, you know, are his fans or, you know, were his fans because he was legit or whatever. He's talking what he preached. He's preaching what he saw. So now he getting into some trouble because he's actually trying to be something that he's not. And he actually created a real platform of being something that he's not. And, you know, he became Takashi 69. And he became incredible because he was rolling with the, the bloods. The Trey, non Trey Way bloods. Non Trey bloods, you know. And yes, I did do a whole wardrobe change. <laughs> I'm out doing my nightly walk. Um. Hey, get your exercise in guys get your exercise in drink your water if you have not drank your water already today try to drink as much um ounces of water as you can because it is a necessity for you to drink your water but let's get back to Sakashi 69 so at this point 
if he gets the K, whatever it is, it's like basically whatever deal he has with the government for him working with the government, he will be released allegedly in January. So January 2020, he shall be released, which is what I'm thinking. He's going to get his time served. And also, he has came out with a new song. So if you guys have not heard it, I will put it down in the description box when I have the chance to get to my computer and actually put it in the description box. But yeah, you can check that out down in, my, down in the comment section too. Um, what else, guys? What else? What else? What else? For those of you that, that really are mad at Takashi, y'all can't be biased. Don't be biased, man. Because Takashi snitching, but so is CEO Chris. So is a lot of little people that are that went on the witness stand. You know, people are just snitching. People are trying to keep themselves alive. I mean, okay, let's shoddy and everybody else go out like, geez, okay, great, you a G, you gonna be in there. Congratulations. That's what you you knew. You understand the code of the land. You understand the code of you know being in that little group. So you taking full responsibility of that. That's cool. But everybody else trying, trying to, you know, get out as soon as possible. Now, Takashi hasn't moved to Gym Pop. That's the reason why he's in blue and not any other color, which means that he's about to get out soon, sooner than later, I feel like. So, yeah, and sometimes they say January, February, whatever. He might be getting out in November. December without people knowing and they keep it on a low so that people don't know what's going on because when a celebrity gets out you know paparazzi um you know just people in general that maybe after him might try to come after him because they know exactly the day that he is out so it's you know for the safety reasons they may say one thing but it'd be a total totally in different things behind the closed doors especially being that he's been working with the feds from the get-go i told y'all he gonna be just i said he would have been out so <laughs> i was correct i said he's working with the feds i was correct <laughs> i said that he has a reason as to why he was going to snitch because i already know i thought he worked with the feds then he gonna tell he gonna say he gonna sing like a bird and i was correct and I also said that just because he went through all this stuff doesn't mean that y'all gonna stop bumping his music. And I know for a fact that I will be correct. So, with that being said, good evening. With that being said, um, y'all go ahead and support him. Hey, at the end of the day, he's still a musician. I don't know. He ain't gonna be able to troll as much as he did before because now he has a whole case. But he can be able to tell, say his songs that I got a case. I did with the, the basis and, <laughs> and I survived the race. Something like that. He can watch, he gonna come up with some, some shit to say that he went to jail and that he actually got out. <laughs> and he a snitch, but oh well, watch. Watch some kind of song, he gonna come out and it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be something like that. Y'all know I ain't a rapper, so whatever but you get my point he gonna come out with something basically talking about the situation and he come out with something and make a quote-unquote hit song to get everybody back on Takashi's vibe because at the end of the day he's more of like a rock star rap which caters to the Caucasian generation or population of people that listen to the music and we all know once the Caucasian people get to you it don't matter about the, about anybody's race, but if the Caucasian people got you, they're going to still go to your concerts. They're going to send you to little, real little, little rich kids. They're going to still go to your concerts. They're going to still invest the money. And the people that want to be like they are rich or fat they in or fit in, going to also send that money to go to the same concert and spend that money to listen to the music, send that money to just fit in. So it happens. Good evening, y'all. So it happens. That's what happens. And they're going to continue to, to do that. And that's what they've been doing. And that's what they've been doing. So, you know, it is what it is. But don't say I didn't tell you. Don't say you didn't know. For some reason, I feel my face looks a little more pushed out today. Oh, it's because of the way I'm holding the camera. It's cool. 
it's cool so yeah if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe share like comment down below share this video leave your information your thoughts and whatever that k thing i think i can't think of it right now it's off the top of my head but i read it in the article and i read it and i listened to people that talked about it and i've said it like 10 times today but the time i'm doing the video i can't think about it but you guys know what i'm talking about and i'll try to find an article so clip it in this video so if you haven't seen it already and i didn't find the find an article then yeah put it in the comment section down below and right so like i said he should be getting on in january if you got any new information on what's going on leave it in the comment section down below and i will see you guys in my next video peace love and tranquility